Oh, I just got blasted in the face. Ah, I'm mad now. I'm mad. That was a goal, and my own teammate, they didn't do that last year. They didn't glove down your goaltender's shots every year. Ugh. All right, here we are in the third period up against the New York Islanders in a scoreless game here in Vegas. Uh, Pega Passes so far has been playing very good. Hasn't allowed a goal in the new year so far. Uh, I can't remember the last time we streamed past it. It would have been like a day or two before the New Year's Eve live stream. So first time seeing Pasta in action here in 2024. Nelson coming in. Nelson almost sniped that. If that had to hit the net, that probably would have went in. Lindholm in the middle. Easy save by Pasta. I'm not going to allow that to go in. Can you do a Mickey Mouse impression? No. <laughs> no. Is it going to be Sweden versus... U oh my god. Is it going to be Sweden versus USA in the uh, World Junior Finals? Probably. I'm willing to bet it will be. What is the uh, matchups? Honestly, ever since Canada got eliminated, I have not been uh, watching. Need to fix auto tethering? I don't know why every time I do be a pro, I have to change it. Like, shouldn't I just be able to change it once and then it never changed back? I, I don't know, boys. Thoughts on Team Canada? Outside of Celebrini, they were pretty garbage. And he wasn't even that great against the top talent. Or the best teams, you could say. And I mean, you can't really expect it from him. The kid's only 17. But, um... Very disappointed with a lot of players like Matt Poitras or Poitra. Fraser Minton. Guys like that. I mean... Nobody really... Oh my god, no, no, no. Cover that. There we go. We are covering that. Nobody was really good outside of celebrating, especially offensively. Use a sus sound effect. There you go, brother. Was that loud enough, chat? Bedard is still eligible to play next year. Is he? Yeah, he is too. I think Hockey Canada needs to convince Chicago. No, they'll be... Hopefully improved next year. Maybe, who knows? Maybe they get Celebrini. Number one overall, who knows? But, uh... If there was ever a year, it would be this year, and no. But our, there was no, there's no reason for him to go back. That's just going to stunt his growth. It's going to do nothing for him. It does nothing for Chicago. So there's really uh, really no point in it. No, no, we're locking in here. We're locking in. Horvat coming in. Bo Horvat. Bo Horvat absolutely snipes it. I'm um, Pekka Pasta. Damn, man. He went back in forehand, and it lost me. As the Islanders are going to get the first of the game. 14th of the season for Horvat. My name is Horvat, and I was so confused for a moment. <laughs> Go take out the trash. All right, we're taking out the Islanders, boys. Don't worry. As Tony D'Angelo takes a penalty, and we are headed to the PK. Not good at all after being down 1-0 in the game. Everybody's favorite player is going to take that penalty. All right, we get a lock in here. Your wife is in the DMs. <laughs> good sound. All right, all right. I'll just leave it at, at that. It won't make it any louder. Duchesne. Oh, my God. Rebound. Pasta, get up. Pasta, get up. No, no, no. Good clear. Wah. Is it Wah or Roy? I don't even know. Is this Nicholas Wah? Over. Stevenson. Chandler. Or Silverberg, I mean. I got to get used to these names again. I haven't uh, been on a Vegas team in a while. What are we doing? What are, what are we doing? Uh, wah. <laughs> Over to Silverberg. Petrangelo coming in. There it is! He is going to put it home five hole as he beats Ilya Sorokin, and we are right back in this game. All tied up at one apiece as ninth of the season for Alex Petrangelo. How did that even go in? Just five hole beats Sorokin. Damn. That is a bad goal to let in, especially on the penalty kill. Yeah, you can't give that up, man. I think it's Wah, not Roy. All right. Perfect. You have any app or any more apple juice left? Actually, I do. I think I have like four, something like that. Philip Hurdle got hurt. Brendan Othman got called up, which is lit. Othman's gonna be good uh, NHL player too. He was electric uh, last year in the World Juniors. That dude can hit. He's a power forward. He finishes every single check. He'll be good for a long time. I feel about the Oilers winning streak. Feel good. Feel good. McDavid, man, he took those uh, Tortorella comments personal. He went after him tonight. Five-point night for the Jesus. And now some people are, are trying to prop up uh, Nathan McKinnon as the best player in the world. I just think people are tired of uh, having the same person be the best player every single season. That whenever another star does good, they just try to prop him up to be number one. Like they did with Matthews and uh, 
2022 backdoor Jack Eichel. Jesus. I thought he was going to score that. Full pressure for the Knights here. Can we get one? We're all over the Islanders. Take the lead here, boys. There it is. Petrangelo. Oh, my God. Sorokin is flopping around. You need the... I'd like to apologize to absolutely nobody. Yeah, I do. I'll, uh, I'll definitely get more McGregor soundboards in the future, boys. Pekka is a meal in Croatia. It's delicious. Really? Well, I was somewhat named after Pekka Rene, so... Can't believe what... We have to have Team Canada... Okay, we're, I gotta take a minute here to read that. Connor McDavid, Nathan McKinnon, Crosby, and Bedard. Yeah, we need to get a uh, Team Canada going in uh, best on best. Before Crosby retires, please. For the love of God. Frazier Minton, Easton Cowan are least prospects, are they? Appreciate the sub. I don't even know where that's coming through. I turned off the, uh, the alerts because this does go up on YouTube. I don't think people would uh, want to see some alerts pop up while they're watching a YouTube video. That is going to be offside. 10 seconds to go in a tie game here in Vegas. What's the meaning of give your balls a tug? Uh, you got to give your balls a tug. Exactly how it uh, how it sounds. How do you feel that Norway would have dominated everyone in the world? <laughs> uh, I don't I don't know. I don't have any feelings. And that one last rush here. Two seconds. Are we going to shoot? And that's going to do it. As we are headed to overtime with the New York Islanders. Alright, here we are in overtime up against the Islanders. All tied up at one apiece. I mean, not a bad third period. We only allowed one goal. We didn't face too many shots. We had a couple, though. But that one goal. Oh, no. Dobson coming in. No, no, no. Get out. No, you are not doing that, Noah Dobson. Get the hell out of here. He tried to go between the legs on Pega Pasta. That is not going to happen, brother. Here we go. Eichel. Jack Eichel. Come on. Bury that, dude. Do you know there is a Matthews on Barry Colts, and I'm going to get to see him in person tomorrow. Oh, my God. I, why are we talking about Matthews right now? Oh, Eichel. Over to Foley. Somebody cut to the front of the net. We can't score if we're behind the net. Come on, Petrangelo. Over. Eichel. And Sorokin is just going to cover that up. Easy, easy save for Sorokin. Just want to let you know you're my favorite streamer. I love your videos. Keep up the good work. I hope you get more and more successful as time goes on. Appreciate it, brother. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. OT first game. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. I mean, we only allowed... Oh, that's me. That's me. I'm going for it. Uh, I'm, if I was faster, I would have got there. If I wasn't slow as molasses... Molasses or molasses? There we go. Mark Stone just in a straight line going to the breakaway. Mark Stone puts it home. And there it is. The Vegas Golden Knights are going to win this one in overtime off a Mark Stone skate in a straight line. Get a breakaway and snipe it home. Take a look at Mark Stone. He catches it in his own end, skates in a literal straight line, and just goes right by Matthew Barzell. Like, that is the worst defensive coverage I've ever seen. And then beats Ilya Sorokin on the B-way. All right, here we are in the third period up against the Chicago Blackhawks. We were doing good after 20, but we allowed, I believe it was four goals in the second period, four straight as well. And we are down by one to start the third here. Not, not a great game after a pretty good first game. But I mean, allowing four straight goals in the second. That's tough. Bedard coming in. No, no, no. I'm not letting Bedsy snipe on me. No way, Jose. Get out of here. Do you like Vancouver? No, they suck. There you go. <laughs> Mark Stone coming down. What is he going to do? Come on, Captain Stone. He was uh, trying to rig my GAA. And there it is. Shea Theodore is going to tie up the game at five apiece. As just a flimsy little wrist shot from the point is going to go in his 12th of the season for Mr. Teddy. I mean, nice, nice feet out of the corner. And yeah, I mean, Chicago's goal, he's got to have that. That's a rough goal to allow. No screen in front as well. Beats uh, Primo, Caden Primo on the Chicago Blackhawks, who got Alex Tuck and then traded him like 30 seconds afterwards. What did I miss? Uh, pretty good, uh, pretty good first game. I'd say we did good. Canucks fans are more toxic than... No, they are definitely not more toxic than Toronto fans. Don't even start with that. Do you like Montreal? Eh, not really. I like their arena. I was there once. It was, uh... It's a nice arena. They have very, very big bathrooms. Don't ask me how I know. Oh, no. Lucas Reichel, easy save by Pasta. There we go. No, 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 no. Get out of here. All right, there's a battle going on in the corner right now. What hockey teams do you like? Ah, the Oilers, I guess. Oh, Eichel coming in. Jack. What is Jack Eichel doing, brother? Islanders going to win it all this year. <laughs> Who's going to tell him? Somebody has to tell him, please. 
Don't let, don't let bro have those high hopes and just get his heart broken. Please, somebody in the chat, tell him. Me win music? Hey, yo. Hey, yo. All right, we're locking in here, boys. Not a lot of, uh, honestly, it's been pretty rough hockey here in the third period. Just back and forth, turning the puck over. Nobody can really get anything going. Jack Eichel, come on, can somebody shoot? Oh, my God, what, what are we doing? This is worse than watching paint dry right now. Lucas Reichel coming in. I'm square. I'm square. No, no, no. He's going to feed the middle. You know he's going to feed the middle. There it is. Easy save by Pastas. Mark Stone is going to skate it out. 12 minutes to go in the third. 2-1-1. Two 2-1-1. On two on one. All right. I mean, Barbashev maybe should have slid it over to Jack Eichel again. All right. We're getting some offense here, boys. Let's go. Give me uh, a one-goal lead, maybe even two-goal lead, and I will shut the door. Tight game. I don't want to go to overtime again. Feels like we go to uh, overtime quite a bit and be a pro. At least uh, with the goalie. For sure. I don't know. Oh, he gets bodied at the blue line. Okay. Teddy in the corner. Got to move that up. Come on, we have two guys in there. There we go. Brody is going to skate it out. Up to Barbashev. Barbashev makes something happen. Shoot that. Okay, or not. Jack Eichel still on the ice. He's been on the ice for the last, like, five minutes. Great save by Primo. Primo. There we go. Leo Carlson has one career Hattie. I mean, facts. Canucks are winning it all. I don't know if the Canucks are going to win it all, honestly. I feel like they won't. Come on. No, Kurshev. Up to the point. I'm back. I'm back. Jones. Easy save by Pasta as it goes behind the net. That was a scary one, though. What are, what are we doing, Pasta? What are we doing? Oh, my God. A great save again by Pasta. Shutting the door, even though he was kind of out of position there. 5.50 to go in a tie game. In the third up against the Chicago Blackhawks. Uh, I probably could have went for that. Can I hug the post, please? Jesus. I don't know why he was not letting me hug the post. If they skate out, I'm spamming that poke check, chat. I don't even care. I got to be way more aggressive with my poke check, especially now that I have all or nothing on. Oh, that's me. That is me all day. All right, here we go. We got to get our goalie goal. Get out of here. They're trapping. Bedard and them are trapping. They are they know the scouting report right now. They're, oh, here it is. Here it is. Uh, here it is. There it is. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. There it is. There it is. There. Ah, there, oh my god. I was too slow to pull him out of the net. All right. Me versus Caden Primo. Here we go, Pasta. We get a smash his face in here. Here we go. Over the top. There we go. Oh, yo, your wife is in me DMs, mate. She's saying, hey, baby. I'll chat you later on. Oh, no, no, no. Uppercut. Over the top. Over the top. Caden Primo. Sit the hell down, brother. There it is. We absolutely flattened Caden Primo chat. That probably would have went in if uh, we weren't 300 pounds and we couldn't skate. All right, we are back after absolutely dusting off or jerking off or I don't even know what you want to call it. We uh, we dominated Caden Primo in that fight. Here we go, Barbashev. Two minutes to go in a, uh, a tie game. Also, four on four because the goalies fought. I don't know why they do that. Is that actually a rule? That is perfect. Not realistic, Pasta getting knocked out. Hell no, Pasta hasn't lot of, lost a, uh, a fight yet in the NHL. Korchinski, Korchinski, oh my god, that almost went in. But Pekka Pasta, luckily he's going to save that. Sally, after winning a fight with players, you can, but not with goalies, at least. Not that I've tried. I've tried, and it has never done a single celebration. All right, 28 seconds to go. We could be heading to overtime again. Oh, here we go, one last rush. Ah, Caden Primo is going to make the save. He's going to play it, though. Risky play by Primo. Back to the point, Sunquist. Okay, or nah. What are we doing here? What are we doing? 13 seconds to go. One last rush for the Chicago Blackhawks. Gallinger coming in. Easy save. Rebound. And Pasta makes the save again. As it looks like we might be heading to overtime with the Chicago Blackhawks here in Vegas. All right, here we go in overtime. Again, the second straight game. We are headed to overtime. All tied up at five apiece with uh, the Blackhawks. We try for the goalie goal in the third period. But unfortunately, we were too slow. Oh, no. Seth Jones. Seth Jones. No, get up. Get up. Get up. Oh, my God. Get up. Get up. Get up. Oh, my. I was lost on that play. L's in the chat for that. I don't know what I was doing positionally. I was way. I was literally giving up short side because I thought he was going to give it out front. 
That one's on me. That one's on me. I mean, I made the sprawling save. I don't know why I couldn't get up faster. I was literally stuck. All right, here we are in the third period up against the Calgary Flames, all tied up at two apiece. Uh, pretty good game so far, but one of the alarming stats right now is Vegas has dropped down out of a playoff spot, sixth in the Pacific as we trail by five points. So we need to start getting wins immediately. We need a win. We need to get points. We can't be losing in regulation any longer. All right, we got to lock in here past the Noah. Funny business. Great save in the middle. Was that on Jonathan Huberto? I think it was. L. Jonathan Huberto in the chat. Brother sucks. Oh, here we go. Stone. Eichel. Back to Jack Eichel. There it is. We take the lead early in the third off a nice passing play by the Vegas Golden Knights. Jack Eichel is going to get his 23rd goal of the season. There we go. What a nice little passing play by the computers. I mean, as nice as you're going to get with a CPU. That's pretty nice, though. Tic-tac-toe and Jack Eichel is going to put it home. Every time I miss a stream, I watch it while playing Be a Pro. Yeah, that is good. But, uh, good. Oh, my Jesus. That's good background noise. Besides the uh, the stuttering. Eichel. We have full pressure. Full pressure on Vegas. Oh, my God. And they get it out as soon as we get full pressure. Huberdo. Huberdo. Still doesn't shoot. Jack Eichel is a demon right now. He, he wants to make the playoffs as bad as Pasta does because he's playing like a monster out there right now. Barbashev, skate that. You got room. You got room. Go. Skate your bag off, Barbashev. In the middle. Stone. The top line still out on the ice for the past eight minutes of the third period. I guess nobody wants to make a change. In the middle. Easy save by Pasta. That was not going in. Not on any day of the week. No, no, no. Get out of here. I was making that save every day of the week and twice on Sundays. Barbashev, here we go. Over. Stone, still on the ice. Eichel trying to get his second of the night. Couldn't get it to go, though. Oh, turnover. Nice. Ah, come on. Stone was on that hard. Like Connor Bedard. Over. Barbashev. Markstrom is going to make the save, and he's going to cover that up. Put on your resume, professional yapper. When you stutter, say your mic is glitching. Yeah, I should say that, eh? What's the difference between NHL 14, live the life, and regular be a pro? What do you mean, like, now? Like, NHL 24's be a pro? Difference is, you could get sent down to the AHL. The the questions were... Di oh, here we go. Oh, my God. The questions were a lot different. Although, I do like the format of seeing your player. Like, I, I'm glad it's like that. But uh, there was no in-game cutscenes as well. That's probably the biggest problem with be a pro. I shouldn't be getting a cutscene in the middle of a game. I don't think there's any for goalies, but for players, it's different. Markstrom, again, is going to make the save, and he's going to keep it a one-goal game. But uh, the gameplay is a lot better, a lot more balanced. Uh, I'm trying to think. You can request a trade. They give you uh, goals to reach every single season. Like, score however many goals. Be top five in Art Ross voting or Hart voting, stuff like that. It was just a lot different of an experience. Oh, my God. Dylan Dubé, Deke at the blue line, over! And Josh Manson is going to tie up the game at three apiece. I got over there kind of late, I will admit. I was kind of late getting over, but I, I couldn't go over too soon or Dubé was just going to snipe that home. What a play at the blue line and what a pass. And that's going to be past the low blocker, I guess, because I am six foot seven. That, oh my God, past the, that, that's not a great goal to give up, brother. I like Burroughs on Vancouver. Alex Burroughs scored the biggest goal ever. I'll never forget that goal against Chicago where he walked in, clapped it top shelf. Game 7 overtime. Yeah, that was a bad goal to give up, boys. What overall is past that he's a 74, I believe? You have a nice voice. Thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Kadri coming in. Oh, no, the Flames. Have the momentum now. 6.40 to go in the third. We definitely got to start locking in here, boys. Are we going to go to overtime for the third straight game? We just can't win in regulation. I mean, defender definitely shouldn't have got walked at the blue line there, but I, I probably could have had it too. So I guess it's both our fault. Silverberg. Markstrom's going to make the save. An easy save. It was just a different experience, man. I don't know if we'll ever get that back. I wish we could, especially with the... Uh, the oh, my God. No, no, no. Especially with the graphics we have now. Not saying that NHL has like crazy graphics, but it's going to look a lot better than it did back on old gen. We haven't had winter, the winter classic. Oh, in the middle. Great save by Markstrom. We haven't had it since what? NHL 14? Old gen? Like PlayStation 3? Xbox 360? It's been a long time, man. So I don't know if it's ever going to come back. In the middle. 
Another great save. Full pressure by Vegas, but Markstrom's holding the fort. As Vegas putting on the pressure, Markstrom is going to cover that up. Just to be... Oh, no. Oh, Dylan Dubé, what a save. What a save by Pekka Pasta. Oh, he's in my net. That's goalie interference ref. Call that. He's literally in my crease. What am I... Oh, no. Oh, no. Dubé. No, no, no. Get it out. Get it out, Vegas. There we go. Ten seconds to go. We might have overtime for the third straight game. Carlson, no. Five seconds left. One last rush. Peltier over. Easy save. And we are headed to overtime yet again for the third straight game so far. And here we go yet again in overtime for the third straight time. My God, it does not seem like we can win in regulation whatsoever, man. I would like a... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I would like a regulation victory. Huberto, easy save by Pasta, and the rebound is going to go right to Nazem Kadri. As the goddamn Calgary Flames are going to get it done here in Calgary. As Vegas loses another one, and we might actually miss the playoffs. We are down bad right now. I got to face a goddamn 2 on 0, and he's just like, what am I supposed to do there? I made the save. There's literally nothing I can do there absolutely nothing i can do all right here we go in the third period up against the dallas stars we're losing two to nothing and getting dominated i mean 27 shots on goal oh i'm going for that yeah yeah not get out of here you know what they say if you want something done you got to do it yourself get out of here what a slow turn i'm like an 18 wheeler trying to turn chat oh here we go right up the middle up the middle up the ah, i gotta fight for that now god damn it i ruined it i literally ruined it all right, here we go. Jake Ottinger. Actually, Matt Murray versus Becca Pass. I'm sorry, brother. I'm going to have to put you down. Here we go. Over the Okay, nice dodge. Okay, nice dodge again. I don't know. Uppercut. Uppercut. It's cheeky little uppercut there. Here we go. Dodge. Okay, he's not going to throw. Are you going to throw? Throw, brother. Throw. Here we go. Uh, over the top. Uppercut. Uppercut again. Over the top. And sit the hell down, brother. You just got fed a knuckle sandwich. And get your wife out of me, DMs. Oh my god, as Pekka passed the flat lines. Matt Murray the fucking fool, yeah. Alright, here we go. Four on four hockey now could because the uh the goalies fought in a two-nothing game. Maybe that gives more ice for our players to, to score a goal here. Here we go. Eichel, Jack Eichel, bury it, dude. What are we doing? That's not the Matt Murray you think. I know it's a different Matt Murray. I realized that uh earlier in the year when I did simulations and there was a Matt Murray always on Dallas. I realized it was a different one. Come on, we got to get a goal here, boys. We can't lose in regulation. We Oh, no, what are we doing? Over! I was there just in case. Maybe I wouldn't have made the save! Great save by Pekka Pasta. Absolutely robs him. That is highway robbery, mate. Yo, oh, you fucking fools. Oh, come on, come on. Ah, oh, where are we? Oh, come on, boys. Somebody bury it, please. All right, Sam Reinhardt coming in over. Pavelski, Joe Pavelski. Easy save by Pasta. I was not going to allow that one go by me. That's an easy save. I'll make that every day of the week. And you already know. Twice on Sundays. Oh my god. Our player just got rolled at the blue line. Carlson. Oh my god. He ran into the broken stick. Like you literally cannot make this up. I'm playing out here with a bunch of beer leaguers. It's insane dude. It's absolutely insane. What do you think about Max Pacioretty coming back tonight? Hopefully nothing happens to his ACL again. He came back and got injured right away. So I'm, I'm a little worried for the guy. If it happens again, he just has to call it a career for his health. Matt Murray's going to easily make the save. 10.30 to go. Still a 2-0 lead for Dallas. What's your favorite type of ramen? I've never had ramen in my life. The sim obviously sucks. It does. But at the end of the day, Vegas has a pretty good roster. We should be able to sim pretty well, I'd say. He's injury prone? Yeah, he is. Was a good goal... Good goal scorer in his prime. Sagan over Jamie Benn. Oh my god, I almost got lit up by the former dynamic duo of the Dallas Stars. Go, Jack Eichel. Oh, Eichel coming in. Eichel! He could not be denied except for Matt Murray robbing him there. Come on, boys. Barbashev. No, 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 no. To TJ Brody. Let's get a goal here. Come on. Over. Mark Stone. What are we doing? Ben Bishop used to be one of the best goalies. Yeah, he had to uh, retire early. Well, he was a good goalie back on uh, Tampa Bay. Stone coming in. Stone just skates right into the defender. I don't know what he was trying to do there. 
Doesn't look like we're going to get any sort of a comeback here in the third period as our team is literally allergic to scoring goals when it matters the most. Come on. Oh, breakaway. Teddy walking in. Misses the net. Looking like Team Canada out here are the uh, Vegas Golden Knights. Uh Come on, boys. Delay penalty. Okay, we're head to the... Actually, no, we're head to the penalty kill. Who took a penalty? In the middle. Great save by pass. It's going to squeak by. Are you kidding me? That's no goal. That's got to be goaltender interference. Get out of here with that nonsense. I got ran into by Jamie Ben. Yeah, nah. That's no goal. Easily no goal. No way. No way. This is a good goal. I made the original save. I come back for the... Oh, my God. Yeah, that Jamie Ben's in my crease. That's no goal. Call it, ref. Come on now. Do the right thing. All right. There we go. No goal. That's perfect. Exactly what we needed. All right. We got to lock in here because I think we're on the penalty kill now after taking that penalty. I don't know who took it, but not a great time. Oh, no. We're five. Oh, no. We are on the PK. Okay. Penalty kill time for Vegas. We're in the offensive zone, though. Played the ref? Paid the ref. No, I definitely did not do that. Pekka Pass that doesn't have the money to afford that right now. He's still on his... Oh, no. Sam Reinhardt. Over. Pavelski. Back to the point. Heist get in. Oh, that would have been a nasty tip in front by Sam Reinhardt. Two minutes to go in the third. Down by two. Can Vegas get any offense here? Can we get a goal? Nicholas Watt trying, but Matt Murray's going to cover that up. I hate the Golden Knights. Bro, I love your vids. Thank you. I appreciate it, brother. Jamie Ben loves torturing Vegas players. What do you do to uh, Vegas players? I don't remember. I literally do not remember. One minute remaining. Oh, wh wh okay. What is going on here? What is going on? Uh, this glitch is back. I got to get out of here. I'm getting pulled while the other team has the puck. That's just great. That's perfect. Oh, my Jesus Christ. Tripping. Jason Robertson boarding. I literally made a save even though I was standing upright. Like... They pull the goalie, but the fact is you got to skate. You can't make a save when your coach pulls the goalie. That is 100% boarding. That's a bad... That's actually checking from behind. That's a dangerous hit there on uh, Jason Robertson. All right, we're pulled for the last 28 seconds here, boys. Let's watch it. See if we can get a goal here. 26 seconds to go. Absolute zero pressure from Vegas, even though we're down by two. That makes no sense. All right, let's just take a look in the stands. Do we have any baddies in the stands? Oh, I can't even move. Okay, never mind. Chat, do you guys see any baddies in the stands? I'm looking. I don't see any. I do not see any. I guess uh, the Vegas Strip is not populated tonight. And that is going to do it. The Dallas Stars. Dallas is going to walk away with a 2-0 victory over the Vegas Golden Knights as our playoff hopes just continue to decrease. Damn, I don't know what to say. All right, here we go in a major game again up against the Dallas Stars. This time we're all tied up at one apiece here in Vegas. We have to, we trail, I believe, the Colorado Avalanche by three points in the central for the wild card. And I think it's Vancouver who has 86 points on the season. So we got to, we, we need to win this game. If we do not win this game, we're most likely not making the playoffs. We have to win pretty much every single game moving forward till the end of the year. Otherwise, Vegas most likely is missing the playoffs. I appreciate that. I appreciate that $2 super chat, brother. Thank you very much. D1 supporter for real. Thank you. Willie Shom. Thank you very much for the super chat. Montour, no, 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 no. Focusing, focusing. Back to Lindell over Jason Robertson. Dallas is all over Vegas right now. Montour at the point. They have Brendan Montour. Are you kidding me? Pavelski rebound. That could have gone in. Oh, they have full pressure. My energy is about to drain. Oh, no. Get it out. Eichel, please get it out. Thank you very much, Jack Eichel. We hate the fact that that's a thing. I don't like it at all. Game sound isn't on. I got it. I got it, boys. I remembered. I uh, I did forget, but then I looked at the screen, and it was off. Oh, Dickinson. Rebound. There it is. Put it home. The Vegas Golden Knights. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Was that goaltender interference? Oh my god, Dickinson, you ran into the goddamn post, dude. What were you thinking? Doink, right off the crossbar, he knocked himself out. He was having himself a proper knock, yeah? And that's going to be no goal as we still sit at a tied game. Here in Vegas, that's not great. I thought we scored, god damn it. Oh no, Henrique, Henrique. Good, 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 Nicholas Wah. 
There it is. That's coming through now. I'm just going to mute that because it's uh, it's pretty late. Or it's pretty loud. I'm, what am I saying? Late. Sunquist? Over? I have my headphones on. That's why the game sound... Or not the game sound, but the alert sounds are a lot louder. Usually I don't, but with the soundboard, uh, I've been doing it as of lately. Because the... My soundboard is too quiet, but the alerts are too loud. So I gotta... I gotta try to fix that somehow. I also think I need to close my window. My toes are freezing. I'm proud to be a Vancouver Canucks fan. You're probably the only one, brother. Oh yeah, that's me. That's me all day. I'm going for the goalie goal. Get out of my way. Get out of Pekka Pass's way. You guys are gonna trap? Alright, I'm the king of trap. Y'all didn't know about uh, Pekka Pass's trapping career. On the streets. On the hearts. Come on, Pavelski! Come at me, dude! Oh my god, this is gonna be hard. Shoot it. There it is. Ah, oh my god, yeah. I'm not going to get a goal when they're trapping like that, dude. There's no way I'm going to get a goal like that. How's your Christmas? My Christmas was uh, very good, very good. Hey, turn off tethering in the controller settings. You have to do it literally every time you go in to be a pro as well. Because it resets. Because EA Sports, for some reason, cannot allow you to turn off the tethering without it resetting. That's just great. Score or no dinner? What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Y'all rationing my food? If I don't score a goal here? That would be tough. How tall is Pekka Pass? He is six foot seven. Absolute monster. He was 6'9 last year, but I wanted to make him a little smaller. Oh, great save by, uh, I think that's Jay Gottinger in the net now, number 29. I wanted to make him a little smaller this year just because I feel like a lot of the reason some of the goals go in is because I'm so big. There we go. Draw that penalty. Draw that penalty as Vegas heads to the power play. Well, yeah, because he's so big, he's probably so clumsy that he allows too many goals down low. If you know what I mean. I thought 24 was going to be better than 23. Yeah, I did too. I say features-wise, like everything they added like in World of Chell, if you give us NHL 23 gameplay with all that... You have a much, much better game, but the gameplay is so bad in this year. I don't know what they did. I appreciate them trying new things, but a lot of the things they've tried just... It just doesn't work. It makes the experience much, much worse. Oh, here we go. Pasta. Here we go. Around you. Here we go. Pack of pasta. Trying to snipe one in the back of the net. Get... Oh, my God. Again, who was that? Number 71, William Carlson. I'm going to beat your ass in the shower with my dick, dude. I don't even care. I don't even care. That was crazy. Oh, I just got blasted in the face. Ugh, I'm mad now. I'm mad. That was a goal, and my own teammate. They didn't do that last year. They didn't glove down your goaltender's shots every year. Ugh. Over the top? No, no, no. Oh, no. Over the top. Uppercut. Uppercut, Jake Ottinger. Sit the hell down, dude. I'm in no mood for the bullshit. Ugh. That was a goalie goal waiting to happen if my own teammate doesn't glove it down. Like, bro, I was not passing to you. I was not passing to you. Ah, uh, whoa, you watched? What did I do? Chad, did I do something? What is tomorrow's video? Tomorrow, Team Canada is getting revenge. That's right, boys. That's right. Don't miss it. It's going to be a W of a video. Ah, uh, we're on the power play. We're not on the power play anymore. That was a quick power play. Oh, Jack Eichel. Eichel. I Jack Eichel, shoot the puck, dude. Like, what are you doing? I, I really don't understand it. Heiskanen coming in. Heiskanen. Good D, good D. Very big D. Carlson, oh, Carlson, I'm mad at you. I'm mad at you. Do something. Make me not... Okay, never mind. Or do that. Eichel, rip it. Jack Eichel, what a save by Jake Ottinger. On Jack Eichel there. Goddamn, 13 seconds to go. Oh, my God. We're heading to overtime yet again. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Is this four times so far in the live stream? Oh, put it in, put it in, put it in. Jake Ottinger is going to make the save. As yet again, we are headed to overtime. All right, here we are in another overtime, this time up against the Dallas Stars, a 1-1 hockey game. Five minutes of overtime, and of course, if need be, we have a shootout waiting for us, but every... Oh, breakaway, Jack Eichel over, Eichel! Oh my, too much passing by the boys. Way too much passing. Somebody just got to rip that home. Three on three overtime, so much skating room. In the middle, Jake Ottinger is going to make the save. God damn, I thought we were going to win there. I guess not. I guess not. I'm happy Canada lost. You are a D1 hater. D1 hater. Pass the dial in. Chat, I'm dialed in. I haven't allowed a goal this entire game. I've, I've been actually doing pretty good in the real-time game. 
I, I'll be real, you guys. The goals that I've allowed, one of them was bad. But the rest of them, I couldn't really do much on them. Oh, yeah. Draw that penalty. We are headed to the power play here in overtime. Jason Robertson, two minutes for tripping. Get in the fucking box, mate. That is bollocks. Win or you're a furry? What the hell does that mean? What the hell is even that? All right, Eichel. Big, big draw here. You need to score. Okay, here we, here we go. Carlson, William, over. Teddy. It's blocked. It's, oh, my God. Carlson back. Oh, Teddy walked that in. Over. Oh, my God. Can we get a goddamn shot on Ned? Every shot's getting blocked. Again. Third, three straight shot attempts get blocked. All right. Oh, see, you're lucky, Shea Theodore. I wanted that overtime winner. It is so much harder to score goalie goals in this game. Oh, here we go. Silverberg and Jake Ottinger is going to make the save. He's going to play it. Risky play, but it's going to work. Heiskanen up to Robertson. All right. 22 seconds to go in overtime. Need to lock in here. Need to lock in. Henrique. Coming in. Henrique over. Montour. Montour. Easy save by Pasta. I'm going to play that. We only got 10 seconds to go anyways. Go. Jack Eichel. One last rush. Eichel. Eichel. Over. Oh my god. What a great save by Ottinger. Again. Again. Shoot. Somebody shoot. Please. Oh my god. And we don't even get a shot off as we are headed to a shootout. Here we go. In a shootout, you guys already know what that means. Flying poke check time for Pekka Pasta on every single shooter. I don't even care if we get scored on. That's what I'm doing. Doesn't affect my uh, goals against average, so. Jason Robertson coming in. Get out of here, brother. There you go. Give your balls a tug, mate. All right, Jack Eichel, the first shooter for Vegas. Can we get us on the board? Come on. Eichel. Eichel. Ah, Jack Eichel. Did he even hit the net? I don't even know if he hit the net. Come on. Here we go. I don't even know who's coming in. I didn't read him. Not enough. Flying poke check. Oh, no. Sam Reinhardt read the scouting report. And he's going to... Yeah, I mean, backhand, forehand. I was close, but not close enough. I was way out of my net. I got to be a little more patient with it. If they're going to shoot that far out, I should be able to make the save. Carlson coming in. William Carlson. There you go. He ties it up in the shootout. William Carlson gets one. Nice little... Eh, that was a backhand forehand. Just like uh, Sam Reinhardt did on us. So, can't really complain. All right, Joe Pavelski. We got to make the save. Joe Pavelski, get out of here. Flying poke jack on you, mate. That's done. Mark Stone's going to fucking finish it here. Yeah. Come on. Stone. Stoner! Oh my god, Mark Stone, what are you doing? That was a terrible shootout attempt. Miro Heiskanen versus Becca Pasta. No, no, no. Heiskanen, you want to come in? Heiskanen! Heiskanen is going to come in, put it home as the Dallas Stars. Oh no, they might take this one in a shootout. That, that one was bad. I'll admit, that one was really bad. How did I not poke that from him? All right, number 27 needs to score here. Shea Theodore, I believe. And he does not get it to go as the Dallas Stars are going to beat the Vegas Golden Knights in a shootout. And that pretty much puts our uh, playoff hopes to bed as I got to watch Jake Ottinger goddamn just absolutely ruin me with that celebration. At least he didn't do the gritty. If he did the gritty, I might have just retired right then and there, honestly. Here is the playoff matchups, boys. Pittsburgh and uh, Montreal should be a good series. Toronto, Florida, that'll be good. The Jets beat the Tampa Bay Lightning in seven games in the Stanley Cup Finals to win their very first Stanley Cup in franchise history. Nikita Kucherov's gonna have a year for himself. The Ted Lindsay, Maurice Richard, Art Ross, and Hart Trophy. The Norris is gonna go to Quinn Hughes. The Lady being Nicole Caulfield. The Calder to bend over on the Montreal Canadiens who actually made the uh, Eastern Conference Finals. On Smythe is going to go to Nikolai Ehlers. The Vesna to Jonathan Quick. And the Selkie will go to Bendover of Montreal. So Bendover having an immediate impact. Jonathan Quick won another Vesna trophy. They are a dynasty. Both years so far in the simulation, they have won the Stanley Cup. Opeka Pasta in his second season in the NHL. Played 38 games going 18, 14, and 4. Two shutouts. Not great save percentage and not great goals against average. Honestly, worse than last season, despite the fact we had one more shutout. Still a winning record, though, but yeah. First season with Vegas was not the greatest in the world. We definitely have to improve off of that. And here we are after the offseason with the Vegas Golden Knights. It doesn't look like too many changes have been made here. Still have Barbashev, Eichel, and Stone. Kyle Pose is on the team. Kraus is still here. Nemestikov is on the team. Our third and fourth line doesn't look too great. 
Defensively, oh my god, defensively, we lost Shea Theodore and Alex Petrangelo, and we picked up Aaron Ekblad. And uh, in goal, we still have Pekka Pasta and Anthony Stolarz, who's an 81 overall, so we might actually end up being the starter for Vegas this season. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Pekka Pasta now heading into his third season. Hopefully, we can rebound off a not great second season with Vegas. I'd like to say thank you all for watching. Don't be silly. Rap you really.